In this work, we theoretically investigate the direct measurement of the plasmonic electric field at the golden nanoantennas by the attosecond streaking technique. When a laser pulse is incident on the golden nanoantenna, it excites collective electron oscillations, and the plasmonic field in the gap between the antennas can be enhanced. The temporal profile of this plasmonic field is longer than the incident pulse and characterizing this field is very important for many applications of nanoplasmonics. The laser electric field can be measured directly by the technique of attosecond streaking that has been demonstrated in our laboratory in gas phase target. In the streaking experiment, an attosecond XUV pulse ionizes an electron from the atom and this electron is then driven by the field of the laser pulse. The final electron energy depends on the delay between the XUV pulse and the laser pulse. The measured photoelectron spectrum, as a function of the delay, contains oscillations from which the laser field can be retrieved. We have to realize that the regime of streaking from nanoscale fields is different from the gas phase streaking. In the standard oscillatory regime in gas phase, the electron moves in a spatially homogeneous laser field. Its energy oscillates in time. These oscillations go down as the pulse finishes, and then the electron is detected. A different situation occurs when the plasmonic field has a typical dimension of few nanometers. Now the electron escapes from the enhanced field in a time shorter than the laser period, and its energy does not oscillate. The electron energy just quickly jumps to its final value that is then detected. An intermediate situation occurs in the antennas where the dimension of the field is about tens of nanometers. In this case, the electron escapes the enhanced field in a time longer than the laser period but shorter than the plasmonic pulse. The electron energy starts to oscillate as the electron moves in the field. However, the electron can leave the enhanced field before the end of the plasmonic pulse, and then the electron energy does not change as it flies to the detector. This makes the regime in antennas different from the standard and the instantaneous regimes, and we need a numerical simulation to predict the final electron energy. We have numerically simulated attosecond streaking for a realistic arrangement of gold nanoantennas on a sapphire substrate. We firstly calculated the nanoplasmonic field excited by a laser pulse and then numerically solved the equation of motion of the electron in this field. We then simulated a streaking trace by recording the final electron energy for different electron times of birth. When the electron is born at a single position within the antenna, the simulated trace contains ghost oscillations at early delays. These will complicate the field reconstruction. When we include averaging of the electron position, the ghost oscillations are smeared out and the simulated trace resembles a standard streaking trace. To reconstruct the field, we performed the center of mass analysis and then we compared the reconstructed field with the original field used for the calculation. When spatial averaging is not included, there are ghost oscillations at early delays and the reconstruction is poor. When we include spatial averaging of the electron position that will be automatically present in the experiment, the ghost oscillations are suppressed and the plasmonic field can be reconstructed with high accuracy. To conclude, we have theoretically investigated attosecond streaking in nanoantennas and we have shown that the field reconstruction should be possible. Experiments to determine the plasmonic field are feasible and are in progress in our laboratory. The nanoplasmonic field enhancement can have many applications. For example, it may be possible to develop laptop size, high repetition rate sources of coherent UV radiation by plasmon-enhanced high harmonic generation.